What's up today, everybody? Welcome back to Devotions with Demarcus. Let's get right into the word today. Today we are in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 28 through 32. And it reads, Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. So my question for you today is, where is your focus? Because see, if you notice, when Peter's eyes were fixed on Jesus, he was walking on water. But when his focus was on the ocean or when his focus was on his problems or his situation or what he's going through, or I'm not sure, it may be a shark in the water, maybe a snake over there. It may be something trying to distract you. See, the enemy, the enemy knows that he can't defeat you, so his job is to distract you because, see, he wants you to take your eyes off of Jesus. So understand that if your focus is not on Jesus, you're going to begin to sink. You may be in a situation right now, you may say, man, to be real with you, look, I took my eyes off Jesus a long time ago. Well, guess what? Today is your day to come back. In the scripture we just read, you see Peter cried out, Lord, save me. And Jesus reached out his hand and saved him. See, Jesus is offering you that same invitation today. His hand is stretched. Do you want to be helped today? You see, Peter had enough sense to cry out to God and say, Lord, save me. Sometimes in your situation, you need to just stop trying to be hard-headed, stop trying to figure it out, and just say flat out, Lord, save me. Lord, help me. You see, he's not going to let you drown. The Bible says beginning to sink. Another translation says he began to sink. Notice that Jesus didn't let him die. He's not going to let you die. Hey, we all go through rough situations in life. But I'm just here to encourage you that we must keep our eyes on Jesus because it is possible to have peace in the midst of a storm. It is possible to be out there in the middle of the ocean, right? A storm going on. But see, you you got peace on your boat, right? Regardless of what's going on in the world, see, you got peace in your household. Why is that? It's because of who you have in your household. Have you invited Jesus into your household? Have you allowed him to rest, rule, and abide in your household? Right? It is possible for you to have peace on your boat. Right? You want that peace in your mind. He gives you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Listen, Jesus is undefeated. Jesus loves you. And like I just told you, he's extending that hand out today. He wants to help you up. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for giving us another wonderful day. We ask you to guide us, bless us, and use us. We thank you for all that you've done for us, all that you will do for us, and all that you're currently doing for us right now in this moment. We want to say we love you. We appreciate you. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone under the sound of my voice. Cover them. I pray that hedge of protection over them and their household. We thank you for your wonderful word that we read today in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 14, verses 28 through 32. Your word says, Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Lord, today we cry out for help. We literally cry out, Lord, save me. We thank you, Lord, that you are extending your hand to everyone under the sound of my voice. We know you will pull them up out of that situation. No matter what valley that they're in, we know that you are right there with them to guide them, guard them, and keep them. You're the same person on the mountaintop, the same one in the valley. You're with us through any and every situation and circumstance. Lord, we choose to put our focus on you and not our situation. We understand that when our focus is on you, we can literally walk on water. We can be uh, used in a mighty way. We choose not to be looking around at our situation because that doesn't matter. You get all of our attention. You get all of our praise. You get all of our honor. You get all of our glory. We magnify your holy name, and we want to say we love you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thanks so much for tuning in to another video. I love you so much, and I will see you on the very next video.